Hello, I am Jeff Gould, founder of The App Rush and App Rush Academy, where we teach people just like you how to cash in on the gold rush happening right now in the app stores. If you're watching this video, you probably have already created several apps and have apps in the various app stores, but you're probably frustrated. You're frustrated with the lack of downloads you are getting and the lack of money you are making per download. Me too. When I first started out making apps, I struggled to learn the app business. I didn't have anyone there to teach me how to get started, how, all the little tricks and strategies to maximize my downloads, and more importantly, I didn't have anyone there to show me all the different ways there were to make money with apps. In other words, I had to learn all of this the hard way with countless hours and a lot of hard work. But over the last year, we discovered a few app marketing tricks and monetization strategies that literally increased our profits tenfold. We got under the hood of this industry and figured out what it takes to get millions of downloads in all of the major app stores, including iTunes, Google, and Amazon, and how to turn those downloads into a lot of money. We have also been hired by some big name brands to help them promote their products and brands with apps. Not only have these strategies worked for me, they've also worked for my students and clients as well. One of my clients made over $20,000 in just three months after his very first app. Now I spend a large amount of my time consulting and teaching other app developers how to build, market, and monetize their apps to make as much money as possible per download. As I read blog after blog, I see two consistent complaints. The first is developers are frustrated. They're frustrated with their lack of downloads, but their biggest problem is they spend weeks and months polishing up their app just to throw it up in the app store with little or no strategy to maximize their downloads. The other complaint I see over and over is developers are frustrated. They're frustrated with the limited number of options they think they have available to them to make money with their apps. I'm gonna do my best today to address that complaint here. In this complimentary training video, I'm going to teach you how to set up additional revenue streams in your apps similar to RevMob, Chartboost, and Playhaven. But the best part is, you can create these revenue streams yourself using URL hyperlinks and you don't even need to know how to install any special SDK or code in your apps. This is especially useful if you use cross-platform software to build your apps such as Crone and GameSalad. They typically restrict you from adding third-party software or code in your apps. I know a lot of you just got really excited right now. Before I begin this training, please feel free to post any comments or suggestions below and I will respond personally. Okay, now let's dive in and see how we can set up additional revenue streams in our apps similar to other mobile ad networks like RevMob, Chartboost, and Playhaven. But instead of using third-party SDK or code, we're going to create and use our own URL hyperlink so we have maximum control. Let's first go over what you will need to create these various types of revenue streams. The first thing you need to do is set up one or more direct affiliate accounts if you are planning on promoting other developers' apps in return for commissions. These commissions typically range anywhere from $1 up to $6, not bad for promoting another developer's free app. A few of the more popular direct affiliates are AppLift, M.M, and Kiss My Ads. Most of these affiliate partners are currently promoting some of the top grossing apps in the App Store, such as Clash of Clans, Candy Crush Saga, Heyday, etc. Don't forget, each of these direct affiliate accounts lets you use hyperlinks in your apps. They don't require you to use any special software or code. This gives you added control to choose what type of offers you want to promote or the best fit your type of app. Just do a little research. Some affiliate partners let you use just one link to cover every country and others don't. We typically recommend to our students to use AppLift. They tend to have the best payouts and one link typically works for all countries. In addition, these affiliate partners are running promotion on both Google Play as well as iTunes App Store. I know some of you just got really excited right now. Some of you using cross-platform software programs have been struggling to find ways to monetize your apps at Google. Pay attention, I'm about to show you how to make a lot of money at Google Play. When I first started using direct affiliates in my apps, it was a game changer for me. In my first few months, I made an extra $23,000 of profits just by promoting other developers' free apps. I know a lot of you are starting to get really excited right now knowing that you have another way to make more money and in some cases a lot more money with your apps. Okay, let's walk through what else you will need. 
If you want to create revenue streams similar to RevMob, you will need a mini pop-up message that says something like, do you want the free app of the day or download other best-selling games? Each of these pop-ups should have two buttons, one that reads not now and one that says get it. You can see here we use a bright green button for the get it to drive the user's attention to that button for higher click-through and conversion rates. These types of pop-ups are typically used on your start page or your home scene and I will walk you through some of the best practice in using these pop-ups in a minute. You might also want to use the full page ads, also known as interstitial ads, with a message that says, download a free game now. You will want to place these full page ads strategically throughout your app. I will show you an example of how I use these full page ads in a minute. In addition to the mini pop-up ads and full page ads, you will likely want to create one to four web pages that you can use to link to the various affiliate offers you want to promote. I will show you a really cool way I use to randomly rotate each of these offers you want to promote using the web pages in a minute. If you want to create revenue streams similar to Chart Boost, you will, you will need full page interstitial ads that include promotional images of affiliate offers or images of other apps you want to promote. Each of these three affiliate offers I mentioned earlier provide you with various promotional images you can use in your full page ads. You simply select which offer you want to promote and then go download the promotional images for that offer. You see here we are using Candy Crush Saga images that we download from the affiliates website. You might notice that we put our promotional image on a spiral notebook background. We typically put the X to close the ad in a non-conventional place like the bottom left corner and include a get it free button on the top right corner. Through our various testings, we have found that this layout and image combination yields the highest click-through rates. The way we use these types of promotions is very similar to the way we use the full-page generics ad similar to a RevMob type of ad. However, we use the affiliate URL link instead of a web page that redirects the user to the offer. Alright, I hope you guys are finding this complimentary video extremely valuable. I will be showing you the best practice for using all of these promotional offers in a minute. But if you have any questions, don't hesitate to post in the comment box below. If you want to create revenue streams similar to Playhaven, you will need full page interstitial ads and or web pages to display a list of affiliate offers you are presenting. The good thing about using websites is that you can change what you are promoting dynamically or on the fly. In other words, you don't have to update your app and republish it in order for your changes to take place. When you link to web pages inside of your app, you can make any changes you want to your web page and the web page will automatically update when the user clicks on the link inside of your app. For example, if I had a more button inside of my app and the user clicks the more button, if I have a static ad inside of my app with a list of various apps I want to promote, I can't change that page or what, I'm, what I am promoting without updating that app or re, and resubmitting it. However, if I am using a web page to list all of the various apps I want to promote, I can simply update that web page anytime I want and then it will automatically be updated when a user clicks on it since it is really just linking to a web page. I just update it and not a static page inside of the app. I hope that makes sense. I know that might be a little confusing for some of you. I go over all of this in great detail in my AppRush Academy coaching program but in this video, I just want to make sure I expose you to a lot of the best ways to make money by promoting other developers' apps. All right, we have gone through what you need to create revenue streams in the app that are similar to RevMob, Chartboost, Playhaven. Now let's walk through a quick tutorial of how you can use each of these sources of revenue in your app. I want to remind you that it doesn't matter what type of app category you, your app is in, the concepts and strategies that we teach will work in all types of apps. All right, now I'm going to show you some of the best practices and highest converting strategies for using these affiliate offers in your apps. First, let's talk about the start page or the first scene the user sees after your app has fully loaded. Here is where we typically have our mini pop-up image appear. We typically set a rule that says after three seconds, spawn or display the mini pop-up image and play a little sound to draw the user's attention to the pop-up. Here, let me give you an example. The pop-up has two buttons, a not now button and a get it button. 
if they check if they touch the not now button it basically destroys the image or it sets the alpha to zero which makes it invisible if they touch the get it button we create a random number between one and four each of the numbers represents a different web page if the random number is one it takes them to the web page number one and that web page contains whatever offer we want to promote on that page we have a script on that web page that redirects the user from that URL or web page to the affiliates URL which includes our affiliate tracking code so the affiliate knows that that user came from us and they owe us the commission we also typically have a more button on that start page when the user clicks the more button it should either cross promote your other apps send the user to the developers page at iTunes Google Amazon etc you could also use it to cross promote with other developers or you can link it to a web page with a list of other apps you are promoting similar to how Playhaven does it next we typically create a full page pop-up or on a separate scene or a full page ad after the user presses on the, one of the buttons whether it's a start button whatever button it is from your home scene to the next scene here's an example so here we're promoting Candy Crush and you can see we have the X in displaced position down in the bottom corner we have a get it free up here in the top right corner and uh, you know if they click that if they click anywhere on the Candy Crush it's going to take them to the Candy Crush page at either iTunes or at Google and it's going to have our affiliate link so they know they came from us if they click the X down here it's just going to take them to the next page whatever that next page is in this case I'm just showing you a little example with a little home button here but again we we typically have the you know the three seconds we have a little boing if you don't want that then they have two options basically or however many options they have at your your particular home scene here they have a start or a more so when the user clicks the more button we've talked about so now if they click the start button we either send them to a full page ads that's showing a candy crush or we also could have a full page ads that has a more generic ad like uh, free, download a free game pop-up allowing you to dynamically control which apps you are promoting using web pages or it can be a full page image of the affiliate you, you want to promote so you know here's kind of that generic one the download a free game this is it's really nice because now if somebody clicks on this you basically can control what you want to promote in real time using web pages so again you can have web pages behind the scene where you can in real time change which URL you want to redirect the user to um, so it, it doesn't have the graphics of the Candy Crush or whatever uh, you know app or promotional offer you're pr promoting but it has a more of a generic that's proven to be really highly converting you know this is how RevMob does a lot of theirs whereas Chartboost uses more of the uh, the other ones with the Candy Crush or the the affiliates image so I, I've found these hugely successful um, it, again it allows you to control which app you want to promote you might have a um, you know recently over the weekend a couple weekends back we I got an email saying hey Candy Crush has raised their affiliate commissions from three dollars this weekend to six dollars so you're gonna want to be able to change that real time to maximize those revenues so along with displaying full page ads and occasionally after the user leaves the start page you can also have a full page ad pop up when the user presses the home button after a stage is clear or a level or at whatever point in your particular app so here you know if you got you have a home button um, or any button for that matter when the when you want a user the user is done with something and, and they they're about to leave your app or they're about to go somewhere and you want to try to you know convert them or, or earn a commission when they click this see here we have it taking them to download a free game so you know don't just limit it to your your main page here uh, there's other areas within your app that you can uh, use to you know earn commissions or promote a, affiliate offers that's it you now know how to create your own customizable RevMob chart boost and Playhaven type of revenue streams in your app I know that might have been a little too fast or a little too high level for some of you but go back through it watch it again and leave me some questions or comments below and I will personally respond 
If you use this great monetization strategy coupled with a great strategy to maximize your downloads, you will be amazed at how much money you can make with your apps. I sure am. All right, it has been incredible sharing a couple of our monetization strategies with you, and I hope you appreciate, appreciate how much value I've given you in this complimentary training video. If you want to learn more, if you are serious about making money with apps and want to learn how to maximize your profits and maximize your downloads, if you want to learn the same strategies we use to get millions of downloads in all of the major app stores, watch for a big announcement when I open up the next App Rush Academy coaching program. Go ahead and let me know what, you, what your thoughts are about this video. Enter any comments or questions in the comment box below. Until we meet again, remember, now is the time. Now is your time. Go make it happen.